Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us and welcome to our webinar walkthrough of e-signature legality across Latin America with Zoho Sign. My name is Ritika and I'm a product marketer for Zoho Sign. I'm thrilled to be joined today by Vagi Swaran, a product expert who will address any product specific question you may have. And Sushmita, our legal counsel, who will handle the legal questions you post in the Q&A panel during the session. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Let's take a quick look at today's agenda. We'll start with a brief overview of Zoho Sign. Then we look at how e-signatures and digital signatures differ and what makes each of them essential in various contexts. Then we'll explore key e-signature regulations across Latin America with a focus on Norm 151 compliance, which is the crux of this session. We'll also touch on data privacy and security in e-signature workflows. Finally, we'll wrap up with a Q&A session, so feel free to share your questions throughout the webinar. Begin with, picture this. Every document, contract, and signature seems to require a manual process where you draft it, print, scan, and make copies, sign and send them via fax or mail, collect signatures, formalize after turnaround, collect payments, raise invoices and billing, securely store them, and retrieve them for audits or accounts. This was tiring just to listen to, wasn't it? Well, this is the frustrating reality for many businesses, but it's 2024, and manual work with little or no digitization or automation just won't cut it. So if you're someone who's buried in a sea of paperwork, then you'd be no stranger to agreements scattered across the workplace, repetitive, cumbersome, and time-consuming tasks, and concerns of trust, security, and compliance. While you're left to deal with this, the world is headed towards remote or hybrid workspaces, digital-first experiences, and cross-border transactions. We see you struggling with endless printing and countless hours spent chasing signatures. And we'd like to help. Here's how. With Zoho Sign, you can easily draft and manage agreements, collaborate with stakeholders, ensuring everyone is aligned and informed, automate workflows, thereby reducing manual errors, verify the identity of signers, collect payments directly within your agreements, and collect legally binding electronic signatures from anywhere in the world. What do we bring to the table? Here's what you can do with Zoho Sign. You can digitally sign documents online, collect signatures and approvals easily and securely, utilize templates, sign forms, bulk send and bulk sign for efficiency, produce and manage legally binding documents, track activity with audit trails and generate reports for accountability, automate processes with field detection, and summarize long documents with text summarization. This is by no means an exhaustive list, but rather a highlight of some of our top features. Let me give you a brief product tour so you'll have a clear understanding of what to expect and how Zoho Sign operates. So welcome to the Zoho Sign web interface. It is designed to be intuitive and user-friendly. You'll find two primary functions here, the Sign Yourself button, to sign documents yourself and the popular send for signature button to collect signatures from multiple parties. Zoho Sign empowers you to create sophisticated e-signature workflows with ease. Upload your documents from your device, popular cloud storage services, or choose from a library of customizable templates. Easily add signers, assign a specific signing order, and select the delivery method that is email or SMS. Tailor your document workflow with precision. Assign specific roles to recipients and select from robust authentication options, including email, SMS, or dynamic knowledge-based authentication, which is specifically for you as users. These methods guarantee signature authenticity and legal compliance. Choose preferred email and interface languages to accommodate global users. Further enhance security by configuring required digital signature certificate types or signature from multiple providers based on your organization's needs. You can configure the validity of the signing link, the folder to which the document goes for easy management, enable automatic reminders to reduce overall document time, 
and add private and public notes. After setting your preferences, your document will be displayed. You can use text tags, which will automatically be detected by Zia, our very own AI assistant. If not, you can opt for the more traditional drag and drop feature where you can drag the required fields, drop them onto the document, and continue with the signing process. Zoho Sign offers granular document management through filtered views. This enables users to efficiently monitor document status and progress, facilitating streamlined workflow. You can track your documents in real time with a detailed document view. So once the document is sent, you can track document progress, including delivery, view, and signature status directly from the Documents tab. This comprehensive tracking ensures a complete and transparent audit trail, allowing you to verify the authenticity of the document at every step. A comprehensive report feature provides a holistic overview of document lifecycle and user activity via intuitive visualizations. This enables detection of alterations and maintains a robust audit trail, ensuring accountability and adherence to regulatory requirements. We follow a granular approach to access control through the implementation of custom roles and permission profiles. This ensures that sensitive information is protected while maintaining operational efficiency. You can safeguard your documents with seamless integration to your preferred cloud storage platform. Enjoy peace of mind with automatic backups, ensuring data protection and accessibility. Zoho Sign can be used across departments, roles, and functions within your organization. Whether you're in sales, HR, legal, or any other department, Zoho Sign offers a versatile solution to meet your specific needs. Zoho Sign is synchronized on the cloud across platforms, meaning you can access and manage your agreements from anywhere at any time on your preferred device. We have a native mobile app for iOS and Android and a desktop app for Windows and Mac OS. So go ahead and download Zoho Sign for an enhanced e-signing experience while you're on the move. If you're already using any of these Zoho or third-party apps, you'll be pleased to know that Zoho Sign integrates seamlessly with all these mentioned Zoho, Microsoft apps, Google, CRM apps, integration platforms, cloud storage apps, amongst others. There's no need for complex setups or data migrations. All you need to do is simply connect Zoho Sign to your existing workflows and enjoy a streamlined experience. We are happy to be recognized by industry analysts who validate our position as a trusted and reliable e-signature solution. We've been named high growth performer on Frost & Sullivan's Frost Radar for electronic signature software 2024 leader and outperformer on the Giga Ohm Radar Report for eSignature Solutions 2023, and also recognized as leader by IDC Marketscape Worldwide eSignature Software 2023. So that's about it for the overview of Zoho Sign. Now let's move on to eSignatures versus digital signatures. Many people mistakenly believe that eSignatures and digital signatures are the same and can be used interchangeably, but that's not the case. They have distinct characteristics and legal implications. And if you aren't quite sure about the differences, don't worry, I'm going to break it down for you and clarify what exactly sets them apart. So what is an e-signature? To put it in simple terms, an e-signature is any data in electronic form which is attached to or logically associated with an electronic document in order to indicate the signer's consent to the contents of that document. For example, a type name, a scanned image of a handwritten signature, a checkbox, or even a click to sign process. Yes, it's as simple as that. And why should you opt for e-signature? Because it helps you sign documents anytime, anywhere, saving time, cutting costs, and reducing paper waste. A digital signature, on the other hand, is a secure alternative to signing documents by hand. It involves the process of encrypting a document with a unique key using hashing algorithms. So this makes it tamper-proof and ensures any alteration made to the document is detectable. But why should you use it? Because it provides a higher level of security 
and authenticity as it is based on a unique digital certificate issued by a trusted certification authority. Here's a table of some of the key differences to help you understand better. An e-signature involves adding images or stylized text. A digital signature undergoes cryptographic hashing and encryption to ensure the integrity and non-repudiation of the signed document. An e-signature may or may not authenticate users, but a digital signature always captures signer's identity. The legal validity of an e-signature is subject to local laws, whereas a digital signature is legally valid under major e-sign laws. An e-signature is verified via email address or phone number. On the other hand, a digital signature is verified via a digital certificate issued by a trusted certification authority. An e-signature is best suited for low-risk transactions in contrast to a digital signature that offers enhanced security and verification measures through techniques such as PKI and provides a more robust and legally sound solution, especially for high-stakes transactions. Before we delve into the highlight of today's webinar, the key e-signature regulations across Latin America, let's take a quick poll to understand your familiarity with the legal requirements for e-signatures. On your screen, you will see the question, how familiar are you with the legal requirements for e-signatures? You can choose from the following options. Very familiar if you have an in-depth understanding of the regulations. Somewhat familiar if you have a general idea but would like to learn more. And not familiar at all if this is all entirely new to you. Please take a moment to select the option that best describes your level of familiarity with e-signature legality. All right, it looks like many of you are not very familiar, while some have a basic understanding of, you know, what e-signatures are and how they work across LATAM, but are also looking for more clarity. That's absolutely okay. This session is tailored to address those gaps, and by the end, you'll have a much clearer grasp of e-signature regulations. Thank you for sharing your input. Now, let's get started. Just a quick disclaimer before we begin, the information provided in this webinar is for general informational purposes only and should not be considered as legal advice. Please ensure you seek personalized legal counsel when necessary. Here's a visual overview of some of the major e-signature laws around the globe. Zoho Sign is fully compliant with all of these regional electronic and digital signature regulations, such as the PIPDA in Canada, the eSign Act in the USA, Norm 151 in Mexico, ECTA in South Africa, KICA in Kenya, the EIDAS in the European Union, Xerteas in Switzerland, ETL in Saudi Arabia, ITA 2000 in India, and ETA in Australia, Singapore, and other parts of Southeast Asia. Considering global eSign laws, electronic signatures generally fall into two categories standard or simple electronic signatures and the more advanced secured electronic signatures. However, please note that each country categorizes these electronic signatures differently using various terms rather than a uniform naming convention. The level of e-signature you choose depends on the specific needs of your transactions. I've color-coded them to help you visualize the differences. Now let's see what they offer. Starting with a simple electronic signature. It is any digital acceptance of a document which can be as simple as a scanned signature or a text message. No identity verification of the signer is required. While it's a convenient and widely accepted option, it doesn't provide the same level of security and verification as the higher levels, and hence it's ideal for low-risk, low-value transactions. Moving on to secured electronic signature, it is an advanced and more secured form of the simple electronic signature, often referred to as a digital signature. Now, let's see what makes an e-signature a secured electronic signature. The signature must be uniquely identifiable and uniquely linked to the signatory. The signature must remain under the exclusive control of the signatory. Any alteration made to the document must be detectable once a signature is affixed to the document. Now, all of this makes a secured e-signature best suited for medium to high-value transactions. It is important to note 
that the secure electronic signatures are further subdivided in some countries to recognize another kind of electronic signature called the qualified electronic signature in Brazil, for instance. The providers of qualified electronic signatures are highly regulated and regularly audited by the appropriate authorities in the respective country, making the signature more authentic, reliable, and secure. The qualified electronic signature is tutored to be the most sophisticated e-signature. But why is it such a huge deal? It carries the same legal weight as a handwritten signature and requires identity verification by a trust service provider. There are several trust services across the globe that offer identity verification, and we have a separate partnership or integration with them, which enables us to use their service within Zoho Sign to make this possible. A QAS is typically suited for high value and high risk transactions. Now let's take a closer look at how electronic signatures are regulated across Latin America. As you can see in this table, while there are shared standards, such as requiring consent, unique identification and linkage, exclusive control, tamper-proof content and timestamps, each country has its own nuanced approach to implementing these criteria. Starting with Mexico, electronic signatures are governed by the Federal Commerce Code and the Advanced Electronic Signature Act. These laws ensure that the advanced signatures are uniquely tied to the signatory under their exclusive control and that the document's integrity is preserved through tamper-proof mechanisms. Moving on to Colombia, Law 527 of 1999 focuses on creating a robust framework for digital signatures. It emphasizes unique identification of the signatory and ensures that the signature remains under the signer's exclusive control. Tamper-proof content and timestamps further enhance document security and authenticity here as well. Brazil follows a dual framework governed by Law No. 14063 and Provisional Measure of 2001. These regulations establish qualified electronic signatures which adhere to the highest security and reliability standards. They mandate that the signature be uniquely linked to the signatory, remain under the signatory's exclusive control, and ensure the content is tamper-proof. <coughs> Excuse me. If you take Peru's framework, it is based on law number 27269 and Supreme Decree, which again ensures a high level of security and trust. The criteria for Peru's digital signatures include the unique identification of the signer, exclusive control, and tamper-proof signatures, all of which are essential to maintain document integrity. Argentina's law 25506 outlines the standards for digital signatures, focusing on unique identification, exclusive control, and tamper-proof content. Chile adopts a comprehensive framework under Law 19799 and Decree 181. Its regulations align closely with those of neighboring countries with key criteria such as unique linkage to the signatory, exclusive control, and robust tamper-proof mechanisms to ensure document integrity. Puerto Rico follows the Electronic Transactions Act of 2006, which emphasizes obtaining consent and ensuring that signatures are uniquely linked to the signatory with tamper-proof security. In Trinidad and Tobago, ensuring that signatures are uniquely linked to the signatory under the exclusive control of the signatory along with tamper-proof security are the key considerations, providing a strong foundation for secure electronic signatures. Finally, Panama's approach to qualified electronic signatures aligns with global best practices. It ensures unique identification, exclusive control, and tamper-proof content creating a secure and trustworthy environment for electronic transactions. Additionally, timestamps are recognized in Mexico, Colombia, Brazil, Peru, Argentina, and Panama, enhancing the document's legal validity and ensuring robust auditability. As you can see, while the foundations are similar, each country has adapted its requirements to address specific concerns such as ensuring security, managing access, or safeguarding document integrity. This variation underscores the importance of understanding local regulations and selecting the right solution like Zoho Sign that helps businesses meet these diverse legal requirements effectively. I'd also like to add another valuable point here. 
Zoho Sign supports the document signing process in 22 languages, including Spanish and Portuguese. This multilingual capability not only facilitates seamless communication between global businesses, but also ensures the compliance with local laws requiring the use of native languages. We've now arrived at the most crucial segment of the webinar, how Zoho Sign can help. So don't let legal complexities tie you in knots. Zoho Sign simplifies your paperwork with just a single click. Now let's go ahead and discover how Zoho Sign meets each of these requirements that we just discussed. Let's begin with the first requirement, capturing the intent and consent of the users. Zoho Sign employs multiple measures, including a checkbox label that explicitly outlines the signer's agreement to sign the document. This ensures that the signer's intentions are clear from the outset. However, it's important to note that the associated terms and conditions can be modified by the admin of the account. The platform also provides a signing recent dropdown, allowing signers to clearly state their intention, whether they authored, approve, or agree to the document. The signer can also provide any other reason by selecting the custom option. These two methods collectively ensure that consent is clearly articulated and explicitly recorded. A key requirement in most e-signature laws across LATAM is that the signature must uniquely identify the signatory. This is accomplished through the use of a digital certificate. To verify this, you can open the signed document in a PDF reader like Adobe Acrobat Reader and navigate to the signature panel. There you'll see the signature linked to your name. A digital certificate is essentially an electronic identity card issued by a trusted third party called a certificate authority. It contains information about the certificate holder, such as the name, organization, and public key. Additionally, we have identity verification via email or SMS. So this is typically what authentication via SMS would look like. They involve sending a one-time password or verification code to the user's email or phone number. This code is then used to confirm their identity. Now let's move on to the third requirement, which is ensuring the exclusive control of the signatory. Zoho Sign provides four methods to achieve this. Let's go through them one by one, starting with two-factor authentication. Select from robust authentication options, including email, SMS, or dynamic knowledge base authentication, which is specifically for US users. These methods guarantee signature authenticity and legal compliance. Here's a snapshot of dynamic knowledge base authentication to help you understand what goes behind it. Now, once you fill in your details, such as your name, social security number, and address, you will be shown a set of multiple choice questions that are unique and highly personalized, making it difficult for fraudsters to answer and significantly enhancing identity verification and protection. The next aspect of exclusive control is the audit trail. Zoho Sign allows you to track activity history, offering a detailed record of every action during the signing process, such as when documents are drafted, updated, authenticated, sent, and viewed, ensuring full transparency. Additionally, we have an organization activity history feature that enables admins to monitor the status of all documents. A certificate of completion is generated for each signed document detailing the specific signature type used. For instance, a document signed with a USB token for digital signature will clearly indicate this information. Now, these methods of unique identification and exclusive control collectively ensure that the signature is uniquely linked to the signatory and remains secure under the exclusive control of the signatory. Next on the list is tamper-proof documents. Now, how can you verify that your signatures are secure, tamper-proof, and signed with a Zoho certificate or a person certificate? Simply open the signed document in a PDF reader and look for a visible certification indicating that it is certified by Zoho Corporation and issued by a recognized certificate authority. Now, in the example shown on the left, the signature panel clearly indicates that the document has been altered or corrupted since it was signed, as opposed to a valid signed document on the right where the document remains intact and secure. 
another critical component is the application of timestamps. Zoho Sign's integration with popular timestamping authorities like Global Sign, Vonataka, and Seiko enables trusted document timestamping and long-time archival, providing verifiable proof of document existence and creation time. Now, this plays a crucial role in ensuring the document's integrity. When you open a timestamp document in a PDF reader and navigate to the signature panel, it will indicate that the document was signed by the respective TSA, timestamping authority, for instance, global sign here. This verification is crucial as it provides an additional layer of security, confirming the exact time of signing and ensuring the document's integrity over time. Zoho Signs seamlessly integrates with a global network of trusted third-party service providers. Now, these partnerships offer a comprehensive suite of services, including identity verification, digital signature creation, timestamping, and electronic stamp duty payment. Here's a list of integrations that we currently have. So there's Aadhaar, EIDIS, eMudra, Tender World, Trust Factory, SignDesk, Vunataka, SingPass, Seiko, Signicat, Swisscom, MDA, GBG Ideology, EIDEC, InfoCert, and PSE World. We're also constantly striving to build more integrations to achieve compliance in a lot more countries across the globe. So how do you enable these digital signature providers? All you need to do is go to Settings, Digital Signatures under Integrations, and you'll see a list of digital signature providers and different types of signatures. So we have integration with Trust Factory for South Africa, USB and PFX Digital Signature, SyncPass for Singapore, Qualified Electronic Signature via European Union EID, QES via It's Me for Belgium, Imudra e eSign and Aadhaar eSign for India, QES from Monetaka and InfoCert for the EU, and QES from Swisscom for Switzerland. Then we have identity providers like Idology and EU EID, that bolsters security by verifying user identities, ensuring only authorized individuals access sensitive information. Now, these are some of the ways in which Zoho Sign adheres to the most stringent e-signature laws worldwide, uh, providing secure and legally recognized digital transactions. With that, we've arrived at the most awaited section, which is Norm 151, a key regulation in Mexico. It sets the standard for preserving the integrity and authenticity of electronic documents, ensuring they remain tamper-proof and legally valid. Now, this is particularly crucial for businesses looking to operate seamlessly and stay compliant in the region. Now, before we delve into how Zoho Sign supports Norm 151 compliance, let me give a brief introduction for those who may not be fully familiar with it. So what is Norm 151? Norm 151 is a Mexican standard designed to ensure that digitally signed documents cannot be altered, thereby preserving the integrity of the document. Now, this is achieved through the issuance of a data retention certificate, which verifies the document's integrity and reliability. Now, you may be wondering, what exactly is a data retention certificate, which is also known as Certificate of Conservation or Preservation? Now, it is an electronic document issued under the guidelines of Norm 151, confirming that the certified electronic information existed at a specific point in time, and such information has not been altered since then. Now, these certificates can only be issued by accredited certification service providers, CSPs, authorized by the Ministry of Economy. Now, what is Zoho Sign's role here? How can we help you comply? Zoho Sign integrates seamlessly with PSE World, one such Norm 151 certified provider, to deliver this functionality to Mexican customers. Now, this makes Zoho Sign an ideal solution for businesses operating in Mexico. Once a document is signed and its Norm 151 certificate, which is nothing but the data message retention certificate, is generated, it becomes tamper proof, fully aligning with the requirements set forth by Mexican law. Now, let me quickly guide you through how this integration works. Getting started is simple. Just head over to the settings section in Zoho Sign and navigate to other integrations. There you'll find PSE World listed. All you need to do is configure the integration and enable it. It's that easy to set up. Now, once integration is enabled, signing a document with Norm 151 compliance is pretty straightforward. After completing the signing process, 
go to the document section in Zoho Sign, hover over the relevant document and click on its name. This will open the completed document where you can view the Norm 151 certificate details as shown in the screenshot here. In addition to viewing the certificate details, you can also verify the document's validity. Now to do that, you need to first download the signed document and its associated Norm 151 certificate by clicking the three dots there. Now this will provide you with both the signed document and its certificate. Next, visit the PSE World website to verify if your signed document is covered by a valid Norm 151 certificate which is issued by PSE World. You will be prompted to upload both the signed document and the Norm 151 certificate. Once you've uploaded the signed document and the Norm 151 certificate to the PSE World website, the system will validate the document. As you can see, if the validation is successful, a message will appear confirming that the document is correctly covered under the Norm 151 certificate. In this example, the message states the validation is correct, the document is included in the certificate. Now, this ensures that the document's integrity is intact and fully meets the requirements of Norm 151 compliance. The link to the PSE World website along with sample documents is available in our knowledge base, which we've included in the resources section below. We encourage you to explore the integration and try it out. If you require any assistance or support, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Up next on our agenda is an important topic, which is data privacy and security in e-signature workflows. Zoho Sign offers encryption at rest and in transit. We also mandate the use of MFA, which adds an extra layer of security and keeps unauthorized individuals at bay and a single set of credentials across apps. We do not run any third-party trackers or ads to monitor what you do, which ensures data security and prevents data redundancy. We provide automated backup to cloud storage, and for organizations in the healthcare industry, Zoho Sign offers a specialized compliance module that helps them adhere to strict regulations such as HIPAA and GDPR. We have local data centers across countries, and we are in the process of building more, to meet the highest standards of security and privacy. Apart from this, we undergo regular audits and we obtain certifications for different industrial standards. Now, this is supplemented by compliance with data privacy and security regulations such as GDPR, CCPA, HIPAA, ISO 9001, ISO 27701, FDA CFR Title 21 Part 11, EU Volume 4 GMP Annex 11 and more. This is backed by multi-factor app authentication, role-based access, detailed reports on document access, modifications, and completion to ensure authenticity and verify date and time of signing. Sign our authentication via email, SMS OTP, government ID, blockchain-based timestamping, and trusted document digital timestamping. Zoho Sign also supports traditional print and sign workflows for regions or industries that require physical signatures. We accommodate various signing methods, including third-party digital signature certificates, such as USB and PFX, and secured electronic signatures based on regional and national requirements. The Controls for Life Sciences module is specifically designed to meet the rigorous compliance standards of 21 CFR Part 11 in the US and Annex 11 in the EU. Visible signatures with metadata and ID verification of signers help organizations in healthcare and life sciences handle sensitive data with confidentiality. As mentioned earlier, we are compliant with the GDPR as we adhere to all eight of the data subject rights, which ensures that you have full control over your data. Starting with the right to be informed, the data controller is informed about the nature, purpose, and extent of processing the data provided. Right to access. Zoho Sign gives organization administrators complete authority over their information by providing access to their personal data, their documents, and a complete audit history of all the actions they've performed. Document signers, on the other hand, can access and sign the document through a secure signing link sent to their email address, which is valid until the date of expiration. They can also download the signed copy of the document. Then we have right to rectify where users are allowed to manage personal information and edit document or recipient information if necessary. 
users can also recall the document and cancel the signing process at any time. This helps in cases when it was wrongly sent to someone. Then we have right to erasure, where users are allowed to erase the documents they've created while administrators can delete templates and documents created by any user belonging to the organization. Administrators can also delete users from the organization and completely close their account. Followed by right to restrict processing, where admins can restrict account access to particular users of the organization. Documents can be recalled and signing links can be re revoked from the recipients at any point. Right to object, signers can decline the documents sent to them for collecting signatures along with their comments if needed. Administrators can easily track who accessed which document along with the timestamp using the audit trails. Any changes made to the document after signing can be tracked. Then we have right to data portability, where data portability is supported with the help of third party storage solutions like Dropbox, Box, Google Drive and OneDrive. Account and document ownership can be transferred between different users and administrators, respectively. Then finally, we have right to complain, where you have the right to complain to the appropriate supervisory authority if you have any grievance against the way we collect, use, or share your information. This right may not be available to you if there's no supervisory authority dealing with data protection in your country. And that's about it for data privacy. Let's see what the future looks like for Zoho Sign. So on the road ahead, we have online notarization. Currently, high value transactions such as wills and real estate documents require notarization and we plan on making that possible with Zoho Sign. Next on the list is video signing. While this can be achieved via collaboration with Zoho Meeting and Zoho Click, we aim to bring this feature within the Zoho Sign app itself. We are actively expanding our integrations with third-party applications and Zoho products. To provide tailored solutions to meet specific compliance needs, we are expanding our partnerships with TSPs to offer a wider range of compliance options. Here's your ticket to go paperless. Simply scan the QR code on your screen to visit Zoho Sign and embark on a journey towards a more efficient way of doing business. Have questions or need assistance? Our dedicated support team is ready to help. Reach out to us at support at zohosign.com or support at eu.zohosign.com for EU. Also, please make sure to subscribe to Zoho Sign on YouTube and follow us on LinkedIn, X, and Instagram to be the first to know about new features, latest news, and trends. To support your understanding of Zoho Sign further, we've curated a list of resources to assist you including links to a legality guide, knowledge base, and other helpful materials. Don't worry about trying to catch everything now. We will be sharing this presentation with you after the session, so you'll have full access to all the links and materials at your convenience. If you've been using Zoho Sign, please consider sharing your thoughts in a review. Your honest feedback will help us improve our product and serve as a valuable resource for other potential users while also boosting our visibility. We're offering a $25 gift card for every valid published review as a token of appreciation for your time and input. All right, so that wraps up today's webinar. Thanks so much for joining us. We hope you found it helpful and informative, and we're looking forward to connecting with you again soon. Thank you. Have a nice day.